together um, I didn't really have like a rhyme or reason it started off in my head because I wanted to do like a super coppery look but then I was like maybe I should make it more wearable because like people like that stuff more and then it kind of turned into this and this lip color you can totally make it a nude and have this be like a super glam look and have it be way more every day this is definitely more nighttime with the darker lip but i just really wanted to use this lipstick in a video because i don't think i ever did it's done by mac and on my snapchat and instagram i rave about this all the time if you guys don't know i've sort of been transforming my instagram into more of a makeup account so if you guys are interested in makeup pictures or little mini tutorials um, I have that all on my Instagram right now, so if you guys want to go ahead and follow my Instagram, it is at ToriSterling underscore, um, so that is where everything is in that sort of sense. I'll be posting a picture of this look probably a few days ago from when this video is uploaded, but yeah, that's all I really wanted to say, and without further ado, let's get on to the video. Hey again, I know you just heard me, but now this is future me editing, so hey. Anyway, first off, I'm starting off with Pink Chili Paint Pot by MAC. Mine is super dry, so I need to get a new one, but I still wanted to use it, so I just spray it with a little bit of Fix Plus, and it works the same. It's revitalized, if you will, so I just put this from the lid all the way up to my brow bone. I need that whole space covered, girl. I need it all covered. Now I'm going to go in with Blanc Type by MAC. You can use a pressed powder, any sort of eyeshadow that matches your skin tone. And I'm just using this to set the paint pot. I know the paint pots say that they don't crease, but on me they crease. So it's very crucial that I set mine. Now I'm going to use the Lorac Pro Matte Palette for this entire tutorial pretty much. And I'm first going to go in with this lighter shade called Lace. I first off just want to say that I've been loving this palette like seriously my go-to for every day it's so bomb so i take this shade and i throw this in as my transition shade in the crease just a lighter shade to help blend everything out is what i need here then i go in with the second to darkest brown shade quarter i think it's what it's called and i'm going to put this in the lower crease and if you guys notice i am going to be very extra and i'm using different brushes for each color because it helps blend out all the colors so much more obviously you can just go back in and switch out the um and like clean the brushes not switch them out but like i had a lot of brushes to use so it just helps me with this look so i'm putting this in the lower crease and then i'm going to go back in with the brush that we put lace on to blend it out and then go back in with the brush that we put corduroy on to blend it out further more and it's okay what i'm doing here i'm like flicking it all the way out that's totally okay we're going to clean it up then I'm gonna go in with this matte white shade and I'm so impressed with this shade because so many times matte whites look so not white on me but this is a super white, super pigmented and opaque white and that's not even with the base underneath. So I'm putting this on my lid as a base color for the glitter and this is just going on the inner three fourths of my lid I'm gonna say, like two thirds of my lid, do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Now I'm gonna go in with the NYX Glitter Liner. I think this is in Crystal Hip. And I'm using this in replacement of a glitter glue just because I think this works a little bit better sometimes and it's less expensive and I think it's cute. So I'm just gonna put this wherever I put the white. I don't know the name of this pigment, but as you can see, it's super, super loose and it's gonna fall out, but I'm gonna have it linked down below. I got it at the makeup show in New York and it is beautiful oh my gosh I love this pigment super sparkly super glittery super metallic and I didn't even wet my brush so if I wanted to make this even more metallic I would go ahead and wet my brush but I just put that right over top of the glitter liner that we put down as a base now I'm going to go back in with the matte pro palette and take the darker brown and I'm just focusing this on the outer third of my lid and of my crease I'm making a very deep V right here but I'm not done, I'm gonna go back in and deepen it up even more. So then I'm just gonna go in and blend it out using the corduroy shadow on that same brush and then go back in with that lace shadow as well to blend it out. 
Then I'm going to take a black and I'm going to really just emphasize that on the very, very, very outer corner, right where my crease naturally caves in. I'm pretty much just pushing my brush in there. I know black is super intense. I know it's a hard color to work with. Trust me, I've literally just started using blacks more to deepen up my crease because it's such a hard color to work with but you just have to keep blending and blending and blending and eventually it will soften up so as you can see here i really spend a lot of time blending out that black and i really push it to the side of my eye which is totally fine because we're going to clean it up i just really need you guys to blend out this black and as you can see here i just took a q-tip with a makeup um, remover on it it's the neutrogena eye makeup remover wipe not the wipe it's just the like liquid itself and I put it on a q-tip and I cleaned up the edge of it and it just gives me a nice edge without having used the tape method you could totally use put tape down if you want I just didn't do that now I'm gonna go in with the skin toned shade in this palette and put this underneath my brow bone to help blend out the shadows furthermore and then I go back in with nylon by Mac which is my holy grail brow bone highlight love this and I'm gonna put that right on my brow bone to highlight and kind of tie in the whole lid to the brow bone. Now I'm gonna go in and do my liner. I sped this up just so that you guys could see that I do spend a lot of time really perfecting my wing and making sure that it's good and it's not like a once and done sort of thing. This really does take a lot of time and practice. So after that's done, I always like to go back in with concealer just to clean up the edges a little bit. Also, I don't know if you guys could see, but my eye on the corner is very, very red. It's just sort of how my skin is, so putting that concealer down helps hide the redness, cover it up, conceal it, do what concealer is supposed to do. I'm going to go in, curl my lashes, and put on some mascara. This is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. You know the drill. I'm just prepping the lashes for falsies, and these are the Blinking Beauties in number four. Um, they're just way more flared out on the end which I think would emphasize the cat eye and the smoky lower lash line that we're going to do in just a hot minute. Now moving on to the face, I'm going to prime with Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. Put this all over my face and rub it in until it gets tacky. Shout out to Nikki Tutorials, your balm. And now I'm also going to go in with another primer. This is the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. Um, I have been using this a lot now because uh, my nose has just been really acting up. It has a lot of blackheads on it now. And also I just have larger pores around my nose. So I just put that everywhere that I have larger pores. And it just smooths it out completely and fills in little pores. I use two foundations because I'm self tanning right now. So this is the Makeup Forever HD Stick in 120 and then I go in with, oh gosh I'm blanking, uh, I think it's, uh, I don't remember, I'll have it linked down below. Um, it's just a darker shade, I, it's, I, it's a Maybelline, I think it's an Age Rewind foundation. Regardless I'm going to have it linked down below and then I'm just blending this all in with a beauty blender. You can use a brush, your fingers, whatever, floats your boat. My boat is floating with a beauty blender, so I'm going to use it. Nose contouring is my shit right now. Let me tell you, honey, I've been contouring my nose like you wouldn't even believe, and I found a way that I really, really like. So I will make a tutorial on it soon, but this is just it sped up. And then after that's done, I go with concealer. And again, I'm just going to speed this up because I kind of always skip it and kind of like, you know, cut parts out of it, but I kind of wanted to keep it in today. And then I'm also mega speeding through the, uh, the blending with the beauty blender of the concealer. Cute, right? Now I'm gonna go in and just set it. This is the MAC, um, oh my gosh, it is so late at night, I'm blanking on everything. Uh, defining sculpt some, oh my God, it's gel base. I'm gonna have it linked down below. I suck at YouTube, I am so sorry everybody. Please excuse. Um, I know what it's called too. This is really bothering me. Okay. I'm just setting everywhere that I highlighted with, you know, the concealer. The concealer is the NARS creamy concealer. I know that. Now I'm going to go with a Clinique pressed powder that's a little bit darker. I'm just going to set the darker perimeters of my face because that's where I put the darker foundation. So that's just going to 
set that makeup in place. I could have skipped this and just went in with Hoola Bronzer by Benefit because I do it immediately after, so I didn't really need to set my face. This could, act, this could have acted as my face powder, but me being the little extra bitch that I am, you know, I did both. So this is the MAC 135. This brush, you guys, let me tell you. Shout out to Desi Perkins. You are my girl. Thank you so much for this brush recommendation. It is so bomb. Changed my life. Highly recommend. Definitely an investment, but totally worth it. I'm also gonna go in and just set that nose contour. Look at that little face I make when I'm saying my nose contour. That is so unattractive. Just like, what is that? Okay, moving on. Hourglass Ambient Light Palette. Literally, oh, it's my life. It is my life right now. I really like this just because it's not a highlight. It is a highlight, but it's not like, whoa, you have highlight on. It's just a glow. It's so healthy, so youthful looking. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And then I like my nose contour to be a little more intense. So this is the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. I think every girl should have this highlighter just because it is such a staple. Like it's a highlight, like girl, you're wearing highlight. And I want that for my nose. I want it to look skinny. So I put that down the bridge of my nose and then on the very tip. An oldie, but a goodie. Who remembers this blush? Let me know in the comments if you remember this stuff. You are so OG if you remember. This is MAC Mineral Skin Finish in Syria Rose. The combo with the ambient light palette is gorgeous. It just gives such a beautiful glow to the cheeks. I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna quickly line my waterline with a black eyeliner and then continue to smoke out the lower lash line. I'm gonna take corduroy on a eye shading brush and just put this right onto my lower lash line right below the, the black eyeliner. And then I'm just gonna go in with this crown brush that's very tapered and it's not tapered at all. It's just a very small defined crease brush, but I use it on my lower lash line and I'm just going to blend this and buff that out all out. Then I'm going to put that black liner over top of that corduroy shade that we used onto my lower lash line, keeping it on the outer third because when I blend it out, as you can see right here, um, it really does blend out a lot. And this is a Stila waterproof, no smudge eyeliner, but that and then I don't I don't get it because it smudges so well like it's a great liner if you want a smudgy look but the waterproof aspect was true it did say my waterline all day I'm gonna go back in with that darker brown and just work on deepening up that outer corner even more because I want a smoky dramatic lash line and then I'm gonna take lace again on that little crease brush and buff that out on the lower lash line. Throw in a little bit of lower lash mascara. This is Benefit Roller Lash. I would prefer to use my Clinique lower, lower Lash Mascara, but I ran out of it. Onto lips, I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I went with a darker color. This is Vino Lip Liner by MAC, and the lipstick that I'm using is Stone Lipstick. So if you wanted Stone to be way more gray, I wanted mine to be more purple, um, use a gray liner, but I just put a purple liner underneath mine. Here I'm just touching up the liner a little bit. Love this lipstick, literally it's my life. Cleaning up the concealer a little bit. And there you go, guys, there you go. Somehow I forgot to make an outro, so yep, I really do actually suck at YouTube, sorry. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all in my next video. Love you guys all so, so, so much, bye.